We have six students. We want to keep track of their information in a single place. We can create a database with the data we have, even update that as per our wish. Want to know the basics and create a database in Excel? How about we do it together? Hello there, this is Faria Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog post, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Our discussion today is about creating a database in Excel. We will use Excel 365 for this. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In cell B5 to B11, we will type the IDs of 6 students. Let's give the IDs a title in cell B4. In column C, we will type their names. In the latter columns, we will add their state, age, and department. Here in cell B5 to G11, you can manually type information of students or copy from a source. We have a draft record for six students. Let's copy by Ctrl C and paste it here using Ctrl V. Now we can distinguish cells since there are no boundaries. Select B4 to G11 and from the home tab under the font group, select all borders. For further formatting, let's select the fourth row since these are the titles from the font group. Let's make them a bigger font, bold them as well. And from the alignment group, let's make them center and middle aligned. We may have some cells with a row with empty cells. That's considerable, but we can't have an entire row or entire column empty like column F and our eighth row. Let's right click on column F. From the context menu, select delete. Do the same thing for eighth row. There you go. The next thing you have to know is that each individual row in a database is known as records. Furthermore, all these columns are fields. The heading of the columns are known as field names. Titles of each columns are known as column header. Now we want to create a table using this database. Select B4 to F10 and go to insert tab and from the tables group select table. So here we have a create table dialog box. We can see our range here. Make sure you check this box because our first row is our table headers. Okay, you can also use Ctrl and T as shortcut to create table. You can also filter this data using the drop down arrows beside the column headers. Creating a database is easy and it gives us a lot of functional features. For example, we can select the entire range and from the insert tab, we can create pivot table. And for the placement of our pivot table, we will select existing worksheet and the location will be H4. Okay. Now let's select state in rows and age in values. It helps us to view hierarchical data in a compact and flexible layout. You can also add charts. Select it and from insert tab. From the charts group, you might want to use the new charting formats that are available in Excel. You can emphasize your data by using the home tab for conditional formatting. We will have icons, data bar, color scales, etc, etc. From the data tab, you can perform sophisticated what if analysis or data analysis from the forecast or analysis group. Using the table design tab, you can also summarize with pivot table or convert to range. From table design tab, you can also resize the table. Let's say we want to change our table range into this. Okay. See, our table is expanded. We can even change it. Just click on it, resize table, and let's choose this. Okay. 
See? Other cells are removed from table format. Let's return to previous form. Using table design tab, you can also choose different styles for your table. Do you want to search for data from database? Here we have created a searchable database. In column E of filter sheet, we have used a formula with the help of filter, is number, and search function so that we can add the names separately to make them searchable. Now in the search list, we can easily search the names from the drop-down list. As you can see, we can choose any of them. For a detailed discussion on how we did that, you can follow the link clipped here. A database can be updated automatically. There are four ways to do that. One of them is creating a pivot table like this. Let's change the data in the source table. Let's say for Apple, quantity is 60. In our pivot table, we can see that the quantity is still 20. Let's right click on the headers, refresh, and you can see that quantity for Apple is updated into 60. Want to know other methods briefly? We have discussed it in the link added here. We have created a database. Now, if you want to create relations between them, you can create a relational database. Here are two of our tables with databases with the same salesperson. In primary sheet, we have added a relational database by pivot table, where product from primary table and net sales from helper table. And it can be updated every time a change is made to any of the source tables. If you want a detailed discussion on this, that how we created a relational database, please follow the link provided here. So you can see how easy it is to create a database in Excel. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.